Hey! Hey there. Sorry. I was traveling. Through a black hole. You'll see soon why. Also, I got bald. I don't know how that happened. But anyway. <laughs> today's video is uh, me testing my abilities and whether am I a good editor. Editor. <laughs> uh, if, uh, if I am a good editor. Uh, so I'm gonna test my skills and do this video. I got the idea to make this video from this channel and it's so amazing. And I decided to test my skills and see if I can do this effect. And uh, let's do it. To start this project, record yourself walking next to the black hole. Also, make sure to have an empty shot so you can use it later. Now, after you finish, fire up Premiere Pro to start editing. Place the shot of you walking on top of the empty shot and then look for a video of a black hole on the internet and add it to your project. After that, you will mask the hole and increase the feather so it blends well with the background. Nest it and after that add the transform effect from the effects menu. Resize and position your black hole to fit your shot. Now it's time to animate the black hole opening. Place a keyframe in the scale tool and under the transform effect we added earlier and put the first value at zero. Then move a couple frames ahead and place another keyframe and change its value to 60 or whatever works for you. Moving on to the most annoying part in my opinion which is masking myself. First make a cut at the part where you will get sucked in the black hole and move it on top of the black hole. Now pick the pen tool from the opacity section in the effects control and start masking yourself out. I did this for 8 frames you can do more or less depends on how you like it. After finishing that part, nest the masked part and give it the transform effect and use the stopwatch to animate yourself going in the black hole. Execute this part since Premiere Pro was acting strange for some reason. After you animated yourself going in the black hole, I added the twirl effect to add a bit of slight bend when going in the black hole. After that, I decided to add an adjustment layer and add another twirl effect on it. Uh, I masked it in a circle behind the black hole so, I, so it can give the effect that the black hole is manipulating the area around it. Lastly, I recorded some audio of me talking and added a sound effect for the black hole. I gave them some reverb effect for an echo effect. And this is what it all looks together. What? What is that? Oh my god. No. No. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please let me know down in the comments what do you think of my performance if i did a good job or not i think i did a good job but it always can be better so this is all the time i have for today hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye